I've been looking forward to making this video for quite a while since I've made the uh, revelation or the, have had the uh, aha experience of realizing that no matter what I did to cut down calories and, and eat low fat and all those other things wasn't working. And I said, you know, this doesn't make sense. I'm doing all the struggling and I'm not really ahead of the game. And you know, as you age, the hormones are fighting you. So this video I'm calling Why Start a Low Carb, High Fat Diet Plan for Weight Loss. As you can see in this photo, there's salmon, there's meat, there's real butter, there's coconut, there's real olive oil, there's water. This is what real eating is about. Not hunger, not starvation, not deprivation, not being on a diet. It's being on a smart plan that's going to help you finally really lose the weight for life. Not worried about when you go to a restaurant. Not worried about uh, what people are going to say. Or you're going to say, I don't eat that or I don't eat this. You can eat plenty of food and not be hungry. Let's get right into it. We know that the idea of a diet that is high in fat is hard to wrap your head around. The other day I was in the bank and I was talking to a teller who had the gastric bypass operation and she was telling me that she was starting to gain weight. And I said to her, well, why don't you cut out the carbs, which are 99% of your problem that's causing you the weight gain, and you'll start to lose weight again. But first, you must understand that insulin is the fat storage hormone. A lot of people don't understand, and I frankly, until recently, I didn't understand. All I knew was people shoot themselves up with insulin to keep the sugar levels down. But listen to this. If they don't take in carbohydrates, which are basically sugar, they don't need uh, insulin. Because there's enough insulin in their body. What happens is when you got too much sugar in the form of carbohydrates, you get insulin resistance. And you can see in this diagram, is this you? You know, fatigue, constant hunger, inability to lose weight, cravings for sugar, fatigue after meals, migrating aches and pains, and headaches, abdominal obesity, increased fat storage, high cholesterol and triglycerides, low thyroid, estrogen dominance, hormone imbalance, uh, uh, cholestic ovary syndrome, aches, facial hair, infertility. You know, men and women both suffer from the ravishes of carbohydrates. Carbohydrates cause a spike in insulin secretion and increase cravings and increases stores of fat. Low carbohydrates reduce calories by reducing your cravings for foods. And the reason that it does that is because fat, it has what they call satiety. It gives you satisfaction. It gives you a feeling of fullness. You're not suffering hunger pains. You know, carbohydrates are not essential elements in the human body. You can live without carbohydrates, but you can live without protein and fat. Look at this diagram. Eat real fat to promote fat burn, build muscle faster, curb cravings for junk food, supply your body with essential nutrients, better absorb certain vitamins and antioxidants, and prevent nutrient loss during cooking. You know, what these foods are basically eaten raw. Raw shrimp, lobster, uh, avocado, coconut, cheese, nuts, almonds, a salad. M less processed food in your diet is the way to go if you really want to conquer the struggle of weight loss. As your insulin resistance increases, your body weight increases. Your body can handle the increase of carbs and stores the excess as fat. You're taking in a lot of carbs, which basically is nothing more than sugar. The body turns the food you take into sugar, the insulin tries to control it. Your body needs at least four hours to adapt to the reduction of carbs in your diet. This is a very important point. I should have made this more prominent. When you start on a high-fat, low-carb diet, you're going to go through a withdrawal, just like you would if you were a drug addict or an alcoholic. Because basically, our drug of choice is food. And the food is giving us our high, which is the sugar high, that after an hour, we're starving again. 
burning fat instead of carbs will increase your energy and endurance levels. What you're doing is you're forcing your body to use the stored fat, not the fat that you're putting in with the, the carbohydrate by removing the carbohydrates. You control a food intake by the brain. You have to use your brain and realize that low fat is not working. And uh, high carb diets, which the, the FDA was pushing for many, many years, and they never had research to prove that hypothesis that that was true. So now we're realizing that it's carbohydrates, the sugar, that every, uh, sugar's everywhere. The other day I was in a supermarket and I was looking for pork rinds, which I made a video about uh, earlier in the week. Not one supermarket carried pork rinds, which are zero carbohydrates. But do you know how many thousands of bags of potato chips and pretzels and fattening things full of grain and flour products? There was all over the place because there's a high profit in that kind of food. What has the low fat, high carbohydrate done for obesity and diabetes of the world. There's been an epidemic of obesity thanks to a low fat, high carbohydrate diet that's been pushed on us for 20, 30 years. You will enjoy the foods because fat tastes good and is a tasty diet to follow. You can eat well and not suffer from hunger or ill nature like when on a restricted caloric diet. On this plan, you don't count calories. You don't take a fistful of this or a measurement of that. You eat until you're not hungry because you're not pushing bad stuff into your body via carbohydrates. In fact, here I have the cover from Dr. Atkins' Diet Revolution. And Dr. Atkins had it almost right by restricting carbs. But his pushing protein over fat made his diet not as effective or as enjoyable. You know, you should have a restricted amount of protein because protein produces a lot of bad things in your body besides giving you the nourishment. But too much protein is bad for you. While the, there's no negativeness to fat. If you do some research uh, more than what I'm giving you, you'll see that I'm right. Take the negative press about coconut oil or butter for instance. We were told that both were harmful to our health. The food industry jumped right in on it and created margarine, which was loaded for trans fats, a truly unhealthy fat for our bodies. Look at what the FDA told us about eggs, how they are now they are saying that it's perfect food. Look at this picture. Bacon and eggs. Uh, 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 cantaloupe. A, a breakfast that your grandma ate for years. And they say, oh yeah, but they were dropping dead. They weren't dropping dead from that. They were dropping dead from smoking. That's what they were dropping dead from. They weren't, they weren't obese because they were physically active. So when you look at this new paradigm, and that's the word for it, it's a paradigm that it's carbohydrates that's causing the obesity, not fat. For a very long time, fat had a bad reputation. We were told many times to avoid it at all costs. We all adopted the uh, opt for skim or this or low fat that, and fat was kicked to the curb. Now it is being reported that fat is no longer evil. In fact, look at this picture of the New York Times uh, saying, Eat butter. Scientists labeled fat the enemy, why they were wrong. Saturated fat found in foods like red meats and other rich protein sources actually increases free testosterone levels that help repair tissue and maintain muscle mass. You know, as I was telling you about that girl in the bank, when I said uh, eat more fat, they were, ooh, that's going to make you fat. But that's not the truth. Carbohydrates make you fat. Insulin makes you fat. There's no uh, insulin reaction to fat when it enters your body. Current research is suggesting that low-carb diets should be the first treatment option in diabetes because of the consistently good control of blood glucose and reduction or elimination of diabetes medication. 
It is the eating of so much carbohydrates causes us to become obese and deficient in insulin and become insulin resistant. A meal that's relatively high in carbohydrates will produce very high glucose levels and this is the cause of our obesity problem. Look at the, the famous story about the, you go to a Chinese meal or a Chinese buffet which I used to do every Friday for years and an hour later or two you're starving. That's famous and the reason why is because all that Chinese food is based around rice. You know, everything goes on top of rice. And it's that rice that turns into sugars in your body that causes the spike in insulin that an hour or two later you're starving. Here's a diagram of the new way to look at the food pyramid. You should have uh, eat the fat, grass-fed pasture, real butter and cream, coconut or olive oil only, uh, lobster, fish, eggs, uh, pastured beef, these are what you should be having more of in your diet. Do you see any bread, cookies, cakes, or candy in this diagram? If you want to lose the weight and die young at a very old age, this should be what you're looking for. Make fat of 40% of your diet protein and then add about 10 or 15% of uh, carbohydrates in the form of leafy vegetables, fruits and nuts, and nuts is also a thing that got a bad rap. When you go to eat nuts, I'll give you a secret. Get a handful of nuts, put the jar away or the can, and walk into another room. Once you finish that handful, you're done. The other thing I added the other day on one of the other videos about uh, lunch is that you could buy whole milk heavy cream, whip it up, and make your own uh, whipped cream at home, knowing exactly what's going into it, and have that with a dietary jello, and you'll have a great dessert without a lot of hassle. Please share this information. Please subscribe and share this information with everyone you know who is struggling with obesity. You know, Old people, young people, everybody's struggling with obesity because the food industry is killing us. And the FDA is helping them do it. Go to JoanBars.com to subscribe and get your free 10-page weight loss report and copy of the Joan Bars recipe. Our Joan Bars recipe is a 100-calorie recipe meal that you eat every two hours and then have a salad and some protein at night with some fat, of course. Go to SaturdayDiet.com to learn about our weight loss e-course packages. And don't forget to like us on Facebook. See you on the next video. Put some comments below in the comment section. And please, share this information. Put the word out. Let's fight this struggle of obesity in this country and abroad. Bye-bye.